transformations in a coordinate plane. Once again, a coordinate plane and image. So okay, image is regular. Pre means before, so it's what happened before, what it was like before. Okay? Good deal. Now, let's look at some words. Welcome back. I know you saw me dressed just like this yesterday, but guess what? It's the same day for me. It's a different day for you. It's because I built a time machine and um, <laughs> I've gone back to 1941 and I'm going to go to war. So congratulations. See you later. Probably not till Monday. And I'll have stories to tell. That was stupid. Okay. Um, not there again today because I'm out solving a cure for rabies. So that nobody will have it anymore. Hello. Kidding. You have to do some work, okay? We're gonna do section 4 2. It's gonna be the next page of your notes, so go ahead and get your paper out. It's gonna be titled Angle Relationships in Triangles. Alright, so let's get started. Ready? Oh. <laughs> and a triangle. Every triangle ever made throughout the beginning of time, all the angles, all three angles, are going to act 180 degrees. 180 degrees. Forever and always. Okay? The end of that story. Okay? I don't really know what else to say. Write that down. What's up? Okay, let's continue the lesson. You would draw something like this in your notes. Okay. Things you need to know. We've already talked about it. Interior. That means inside. So if we're talking about the interior, we're talking about inside the triangle. Exterior, talking about everything outside the triangle. Okay? Interior angles would be angles inside the triangle. Therefore, green and red, or angles one and angle two, are inside the triangle. Okay? Angle three would be exterior because it's outside the triangle, but it's still connected to the triangle. Okay? See how that line extends? It's outside the triangle though. A lot of open spaces. Okay? Now, we also have another name. These two angles right here, they're called remote interior angles. Because, see this exterior angle? They are the only two angles not touching it. This angle right here is right next door neighbors with it. It's adjacent to it. Alright? These two are not touching it, which makes them remote interior angles. Remote interior angles. Angles. The way some people remember that, that if you're sitting on the exterior angle, you'd be laid back in your chair, and you need to shoot the remote to hit the other two. Okay? So you'd turn on the remote to reach the television. Doesn't apply real great, but it's better than nothing. Okay? So you're sitting there and it's farther away. It's the only two angles not touching you. Now, next thing we need to talk about is the exterior angle theorem. If you have an angle, it's outside of a triangle. It's the exterior angle. Alright? That angle and that angle, what do we know they add up to equal? 180 degrees. Because they make a straight line. So we know those two add up to 180 degrees. Now, what do we know all three of these angles add up to equal? We know all triangles add up to 180, so we know all of those three are 180 degrees. Now, Here's the similarity between that. That angle, if you take it out of there and you take it out of this, you're going to be left with the exact same thing. So, here's our exterior angle theorem. Angle 1, you can add up the two remote interior angles and it's going to be equal to that exterior angle. So, angle 1 plus angle 2 equals angle 3. Because if you take the same thing out of this 180 and the same thing out of this 180, you're going to be left with the exact <coughs> same thing. Okay? Let's do an example. Here's our example. 
I just told you that an exterior angle, like this, is going to be congruent or equal to the remote interior angles. And you also learned that the remote interior angles are the two angles that are not touching the exterior angle. Okay? So, we know that these two angles are going to add up to equal this angle. Okay? Forever and always. So, let's write our equation. This angle, which is 5x plus 17, plus this angle, which is 6x minus 1, is equal to that last angle, which is 126. Now, once again, the geometry is done. We're to the algebra, okay? So we just add, combine our like terms. 5x and 6x is going to be 11x. We add 17 to negative 1, which is positive 16. It equals 126. Bring this down, because we're going to subtract 16 from both sides. It's going to be 110. And then we just divide 11. x equals 10. Okay? Now, if they're trying to find these angle measures, plug it in. That's 6 times 10 is 60, minus 1, so that's 59 degrees. And then that's 5 times 10 plus 17, so it's 67 degrees. Okay? The end. But if they just wanted X, you're done. Okay? Now, last thing you got to learn from video of Mr. Tarver. If you have two triangles, and this angle and this angle are congruent, and this angle and this angle. If you have two sets of angles, that are congruent in two different triangles. Guess what the third angle is? Oh my goodness, it's congruent as well. Okay? So we know that this one is congruent to this one. Merry Christmas. Alright? I really don't know what to say on that one. That's pretty common sense. So I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, your assignment is going to be page 227, 1 through 32. Get finished with any class so you don't have any homework. And I hope all of your wildest dreams come true. And don't do drugs. Do it even. <laughs>